Hello everyone and welcome to this video where we're going to continue to talk about the Alta pipeline and how you can put it in your creations. So in the last video I released, I had the pre-made substation which you see here on the left hand side and it's fairly easy to add to any one of your creations. You just insert it, paste it and it's good to go. I explained how that all works, but there was some requests to have a self-serve or almost do-it-yourself version of the Alta pipeline interface and that is what you see here on the right hand side. So the pre-made substation is on the left. This is the pre-made substation. You put it right into your creation. You could watch the video on my YouTube. That's the video that I released last. You could find it and if you want the do-it-yourself method you are now presented with this. So while it may look a little daunting, and for some users who just want a simple Alta pipeline connection, the pre-made one is better. This gives you the full do-it-yourself capabilities and explains exactly how the Alta pipeline can be interfaced and accessed with your creations. So first things first, you open it up when you download and subscribe to it. Make sure, however, that you are already subscribed and have the Alta pipeline open in your uh, new game settings. You make a new game, you have to have the pipeline enabled as a mission, otherwise this won't work, it'll just be a visual. But if you have the mission enabled in your uh, game from the, from the get-go as a new game, then the mission will work and this link will work. So that's a key thing. I do have a video explaining exactly how the Alta pipeline can be installed and put into your game. So now that we're past that, this is what you'll see when you load it up when you've subscribed. And the way it works is there's different columns. It's almost like an Excel spreadsheet. So this is the oil column. We got a jet column. We got a diesel column. And then we have a common column which means that it applies to all of them no matter what so even if you just want diesel to be connected to your pipeline or whether maybe you have an oil rig and you just want oil to be pumped into a refinery you need to have this common column now there's also rows in this direction and that's what these little descriptors are for these descriptors here for example this one it says option b complete system and i will explain that that applies to this row okay so let's spawn it in the game if you get the little notification saying the vehicle has been integrated into the alt the pipeline add-on that means that it is working that means you have the pipeline add-on installed from your new game and that, th that it will work if that notification does not pop up that means you most likely don't have the Alta pipeline add-on installed and then this will all be for naught. So we will begin with this. So this column's for oil, this column's for jet fuel, this column's for diesel, this is for common items. Now here is the column title which is self-explanatory. This is the color scheme legend which I will explain in a second. Now this is option A, minimal systems, no microcontrollers needed. So I will explain what this is. So that's why there's this blue line kind of dividing it. So this is one whole option in here and it ends right there. Now this here is option B. So you see option A, now this is option B. Option B is the complete system. So this is something in between the pre-made uh, substation that I showed you just in the beginning of the video and this. This is the most basic form of pipeline add-on. This is some kind of complete system and I will explain. Now this is the controls for the complete system and this is the complete system microcontrollers. Okay. So what I will explain now with, that we've discussed kind of all that I will go ahead and see. So now this, just I'm going to highlight it yellow, this is your um, simple system or minimal systems. This here is your complete system. Now the complete system is a little easier to understand, so I will actually start with it, and then I'll explain the minimal system. So let's, for, exa for example, start with diesel, okay? Say you want to add 
the option B, complete system, into your creation. Say you have a diesel processing plant or whatever, and you don't want jet fuel, you don't need oil, you just want your diesel to be pumped in and out from that building, okay? So, what, how it works is, um, you'll have, obviously, your building, and it will be separated, most likely. It'll be its own thing. And, quite simply, you can extract all of this into your creation making sure to also take the common files because the common stuff is also necessary and in theory you'd now place this into your creation now i'm making this for users that are more advanced so i will um expect that you guys are well adapted to change this around as needed for yourself and then, like I said, this can this is now your control panel. These are the things that can go in your control panel. These are the microcontrollers that can be hidden somewhere behind a wall or whatever. And this is your system. Now, what does your system mean? And for that, we have to go back to explain the color schemes. So we'll go back to the beginning and start us up with this. So the pink color scheme means that it is an automatic hose system, okay? Automatic meaning all you do is connect a hose to it. So the pink system, you connect a hose and it already has a pump, right? So in this case, it pumps out. In this case, it pumps in. But it, all you do is you connect your hose to a tank. So in theory, you have a tank, whether pre-made or not, somewhere in your creation. And all you got to do is come. You'll attach your hose from there to there. And that will actually let you pump out into that reservoir. Now, that is the pink system. Applies to all of them. So all of them are following the exact same color scheme. So pink system is automatic hose in or out. Now the turquoise system is very similar to what we had in the pre-made substation, which means that you have to have pump in and out capabilities in your creation that will be attached to this. Meaning, it is purely a connection that you plug in with a hose, but whatever you've connected, like my the example of my truck that has the pumps within it, then this will work. Otherwise, you ha you should use one of these pump systems, and then you could have it, call it a dumb reservoir somewhere, versus this where you have to have a reservoir that has a pump capability. Okay, that's the turquoise one. Now this one, the yellow, is automatic tank system. Okay. And by tank system, we mean that all it is, is a node that has your vent, like your uh, fluid port. And now you could make your own tank, just like this. And in theory, now this tank that you've pre-made or custom made can now be d used with this, which is pump out. So you'll, your tank here will be having diesel and it can actually pump it into the system. So that's what you'd use if you were having some so sort of uh, uh, a, a tank storage, for example, a diesel storage facility, you could then pump out with this and you could pump out with this. Now we will, we're still explaining the option B here. So I'm not gonna jump to this just yet, but they follow the same color scheme. So in this case, I actually do have a very large tank down here and I will explain exactly how it works but pretty much you have your pump in and out button and then you have your custom tank. So I do expect you to obviously fit this to your system. And the last thing is this bright blue and that is the mandatory system. Now obviously mandatory is, um, take that with a grain of salt, this joint, this elbow is not mandatory, you could adjust it, but I'm just saying this system is part of the mandatory. Whereas if you look here, the only mandatory thing is the actual tank. Now this naming scheme is vital. This is super important. If you don't have this naming system, meaning if you just decide to, you know, put your own little tank like this and think you're good to go, this will not work. I repeat, if you put your own tank without the naming scheme, it will not work. The way that the add-on works and the way that the Lua code works is it relies on this name to work. That's the only thing you need. If you don't have this name, 
it's all for naught. Okay. So now back to let's test it out and I'll just explain how this all works. So the difference between this system, the complete system, is that it has the control panel, as you see here. It has the valve and it has all this stuff. So let's actually spawn ourselves a truck alongside this. We'll give ourselves the pipeline inspection truck, just like we had previously. And the reason why we're putting this is just so I can explain and show exactly how we add now into the system. And just like last time, you have the red light on, just like in the last video with other pre-made substations. So you have to enable. And then if you see they turn green and it says all pipelines enabled, that means you're good to go. So that means now the system is active. If that's not there, then it's not active. Okay. Now, since this is the diesel column, we can pump diesel. This is just a little node. You could ignore it, but I'll explain it later. You can pump diesel directly in to this hose using our truck that has its own pump out functions. So in this case, all you need to do is plug in this diesel out. You press pump diesel out. And then you come over to this, connect it, and remember what I said about the turquoise one? It's like your dumb system. It's the, it's this. Manual. So not dumb, but manual. Manual in and out. You plug this in, and you can see that. There's nothing flowing through here. And there's nothing flowing through here because you did not turn on the valve. So Without the valve, just like the, the pre-made substation, you got to turn the valve on, then you get pressure, and now we're pumping, okay? There we are. So we can actually watch the diesel in the pipeline start to go up. And remember, it doesn't go up kind of sequentially, it takes a bit of time, but eventually it does go up. It kind of works off your CPU speed, so keep that in mind. It doesn't update live, but you could see that it's increasing slowly. All right, and then we can stop this truck because remember, this truck now is using its own pump. But say I don't want to use its own pump. Say I just want to use, call it a simple um, fuel tank like this, like the actual truck's fuel tank. And then we use, rather than the turquoise, which is the manual system, we can now use the pink system, which is this, the automatic in and out system with its own pump. So in this case, here's pump in, we plug it to this, and we got to press this button. And once we press this button, this starts to flow. And this keeps going up. So we're still pumping in, we're just pumping in through the pink system rather than the turquoise. Now you can also pump out from this. So say we attach it to this, we could start to refill our truck's tank and this should start to drop as you see here. So now it's dropping and our truck, truck's uh, gas tank is filling up. Okay, hopefully that all makes sense. So that's the pink system, which is having its own pump, and that's the turquoise, which is where you provide a pump. All of these apply the exact same way. Just don't mix diesel and oil and jet fuel. Like, don't come here and put diesel into the oil system, because, yeah, there's a filter, but it can still mess it up. So I would not recommend doing that. And then, I mean, that just comes down to kind of user error. And I'm, I'm not going to prevent user error just by making redundant systems. That many redundant systems, let's call it. Okay, last thing is the yellow system. And if we go over here, it says this is the tank system. Remember, so now you can build your own custom tank. All you do is put these little port nodes. And this actually has some fluid in there. So we're now going to pump in to our reservoir from this tank. And that could be your custom tank. That could be a storage silo, whatever. So we turn on pump in. We see the pressure building and they should start to go up. So that's now using the yellow system, which is a pre-made tank. You see the, oil, the level is dropping down there. So you'd have your, your, your not pre-made, sorry, your custom tank. You put in this and it starts to absorb it into the pipeline. Okay. Likewise, you could pump out from the pipeline and this will start to drop and this is going to start to fill. 
as you can see the level is slowly rising so now we're actually filling into this little glass chamber as well as what's beneath us here okay stop all that so that is in essence how this system works okay make sure you turn on that little key now you can remove the key if you don't want to have it in your control panel and then just remove the fluid on off valve okay uh, if you want to remove that key and then it's just going to go right into the system so same thing works with jet fuel if you pump in and turn this key the pressure is building and it's going to start putting jet fuel into the pipeline from this uh, tank that we have so you'd have your tank and probably the most useful one in my opinion is the oil which would come from if you have an actual oil drilling plant or oil drill or oil platform all you really need is this because maybe then you have a big refinery where you're going to actually separate them into jet fuel and diesel but you don't have to do that on your oil platform you just use this system okay also the reason why I have this node is because if we want to plug in this, so I wanted to demonstrate, say you don't have this system where you're using the fluid ports, rather you have a big tank or reservoir of jet fuel, you could attach it here and then attach it to this guy, which is pump in, turn this on, turn this key, and then you're actually going to start to pump into your system. So if you have a big silo you could just attach it with a hose if you want but my recommendation and preference would be to do it with the fluid port system okay that is the complete system meaning it comes with its control panel it comes with all this nice stuff now there's the most basic system which is this and all you need okay listen very carefully all you need for this is the tank that is named with the correct naming scheme. I recommend using a small one. There's no need for a bigger one. In fact, a bigger one is going to only mess you up because it has to fill fully to that tank. Then it's going to start putting it into the system. So it'll fill up to like whatever, 15 liters or 30 liters, whatever's in here. Then it starts to put it in and teleport it into the pipeline. Now, this is diesel and we have out, which is the O and in. That's the best way I could write in. So out and in out in out and in okay this system is only for pumping diesel out okay keep that in mind when i say the next thing which is all you need is this little tank and a pump that's it you put the the tank and the pump into a reservoir or into a silo you can directly pump out into that silo that's all you need and likewise to pump in. So all you need is this diesel tank and this pump, and then you put it directly to your fluid port inside a silo, or you put it to your hose uh, anchor point, which you then plug into your silo, or you could do it directly with this hose anchor here, but note that this is before the pump, or after the pump rather. So in this case, you'd have to have a pump truck that puts it into that system. And that's explained all over there. But my preference or opinion would be you need this and this, okay, these two little tanks. You'd put a pump. I'd put a large pump, but I just put the small one for this uh, demonstration. You could switch it to whatever you want size, size wise, and then you have a button to turn that pump on, okay? So in the case of the Alta rig, right, it has access to the pipeline. And how it accesses the pipeline, it just has this little guy and a pump, and that's it. And in fact, it doesn't even have the pump out because we're not, we're never pumping out into the altar rig. We're only pumping into the pipeline. So the altar, altar rig that I have only has this blue tank, this pump and a button in the control panel to turn on and have it go into your system. Okay. Now I'm going to demonstrate how these little guys work because they work very similar to that, but you don't have the control panel. You don't have the indicator. You just have to rely that it's going into the system and that's it like the the, the 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 way i saw it is the platform people aren't the pipeline people so they're pumping into the pipeline and then someone else in the pipeline control station is you know monitoring the values all that stuff so let us say we have a diesel storage tank okay and now you want to pump from your diesel storage tank 
into your diesel pipeline. So all you need to do, we're going to grab this hose, is plug it into our tank. Remember, this is the tank. Pretend that's our reservoir. And then you come here. You want it to go in to your system. You just attach it to this and turn this button on. And that is absolutely it. You can see now the pump is not working for some reason because there is a two-part problem to what was happening. Firstly, the fact that I had the yellow um, port attached. And the, the reason why that was being problematic is because it was sucking air into the system, right? So you don't want to have that just sitting here unless you're going to use it and put it inside a tank system, okay? So keep that in mind. If it's sitting inside a tank, then you can use that yellow port. But if it's just sitting like this, that doesn't make any sense. Second, I added some of those depreciated filters here just to ensure that the right fluid is getting into the system. And thirdly, there may be a glitch where if you have two of the same tanks, so look at this, PL diesel out, PL diesel out, same, this one is in, this one is also in, that it does not work or that it only uses the one that gets there first per creation. Meaning if you start using this one, you can't jump to this one. So that may be a limitation of the game. So for the next test, I'm actually going to delete these ones and show you how these ones work. So for this case of the demonstration here, I'm just going to delete these guys, spawn this, and let's see. So it says it's been integrated into the pipeline. We'll grab this and we'll come here and we want to pump diesel into the system. Right now we have 31. So what I'm going to do is take it out of this, put it into the in system and turn this on. And as you can see now it's pumping, it's going into this. And as soon as it reaches 31, it delete, it removes itself. And that's why it only goes in 31 batches or 31.5 liters. And if you look at this here, it's going up in 31 batches or 31.5 liter batches. So you could stop that, take this hose, put it on this into the out system and pump out. And then you'll see that this should start to drop by 31.5 liters and it's now filling our tank here okay so make sure that you learn from my mistakes you cannot have two tanks named the same thing it's going to only choose one and stick with it and secondly use the filter to the best of your ability i checked my alter rig does not have the filter systems it has only the oil in so it only has this and it has a pump attached to it. But the idea is that you only pump oil into that system when you have oil to be pumped. Now, air may get in and with that new update, we don't really know what's going to happen. Maybe air becomes a, like a fluid that gets pumped into system. So I would recommend using the depreciated filter. I will put it just like this and I will give you this whole thing as I said, but it includes two of these. So make sure if you have it like this, and if it's not working, it's because your creation may have three or more um, of the same type of little tanks. So let's see if it works again. If now we have both tanks, say I wanna pump out back into this, turn this on, and let's see what happens here. So again, it's not working. So it makes sense. If you're doing this, make sure that you have only one of them and make sure that your system is using the right names or right naming sequence. So if I take this hose, let's pump into the pipeline, take it from here, press this, and now it's pumping in. And like we said, this is now pumping. So there you have it. This individual system works, but just make sure first that your pipeline is enabled and second that you only have one of that tank in your creation, not two tanks. You can't have two, two inlets to the pipeline. Each vehicle that spawns and this by vehicle, I mean this sheet, this is a vehicle. So each vehicle that spawns can only have one single 
a location that has access to the pipeline. Okay. So thank you so much for watching. Hope this was informative. Hopefully this works for your creations. Let me know if you have any problems in the comments. Likewise, comment if you're grateful and happy and, you know, tell me about your day if you want or how this works with your creation. Um, I love to see the engagement. In other news, our Discord server has reached over 500 uh, followers or members, so I'm super happy for that. Uh, videos on YouTube have reached over a quarter million views in total, which is incredible. And over what 2000 subscribers like it just it's all blowing up and it's really cool so thank you guys so much for that i do appreciate it uh stay tuned for more and as always happy stormworksing